I had to that far. The Lord speaketh peace to his people and his holy one, and those who turn to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, life of all that is mortal and joy of the saints, we humbly pray to you for your servants, that freed from the bonds of mortality, they may possess your kingdom in everlasting glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. John said, An angel showed me the river of life-giving water, sparkling like crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the street. On either side of the river grew the trees of life that produces fruit twelve times a year, once each month. The leaves of the trees serve as medicine for the nation. Nothing accursed will be found anymore. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will look upon his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. Night will be no more, nor will they need light from the lamp or sun. For the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, the God of prophetic spirits, sent his angel to show his servants what must happen soon. Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the prophetic message of this book. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Our responsorial song. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the tops of the mountains are his. He is the sea, for he has made it and the dry land which his hands have formed. Lord, 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 come. come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your heart does not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times, and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent. 
and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. During this month, as we have continued to speak about the Catholic understanding of death and life and how that has been developed from our Jewish ancestors, if you remember, we spoke originally about our Jewish ancestors uh, believing in two types of life that was given to humanity by God. We spoke of bios, physical life, and zo as the supernatural life. We spoke of how sin entered the world by the choice of Adam and Eve, and how you had two types of death, the spiritual death, and how a physical death would follow. We spoke about the Jewish people and their treatment of the bodies of the dead, how they wanted to feel that connection to the community. So they would always honor the dead. Now when Jesus, and we're moving into the New Testament, when Jesus was born, he was born into a society where that understanding had become ambiguous. You had the Pharisees, who believed in the resurrection of the dead, you had the Sadducees who did not believe in the resurrection of the dead. And we know where Jesus stood, for he often spoke of the resurrection of the dead. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Now, the point that I want to make is whenever we read the Gospels, we can read them and say quite Apropos, Jesus is love, God is love. Jesus spoke of loving God and loving neighbor. We can speak of his miracles. We can speak of all the great statements that Jesus gave to us. And we can make him into one of the great philosophers, humanist of all times but it all pales in comparison to the resurrection. For when we read the Gospels, we realize that Jesus, his purpose is to save us from our sins via his passion, death, and resurrection. Because he could experience all the rest, the passion and death, he could have done all the great miracles. He could have said all the right things. But unless he is resurrected, all of it is not. And Jesus spoke about the resurrection of the dead often. Now, there is one thing that I had not considered. Dr. Hahn brought it out in his book that we've been looking at. Dr. Scott Hahn's book. Something that I'd read and I'd seen, but I must admit I'd never saw it to think about it enough. And it is taken from the fifth chapter of St. John's Gospel. John chapter 5. In verse 21, he speaks about the Father raises the dead and gives life. So also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. So we see that connection. Father and Son, they raise the dead. And that's what we so often think about when we, we think of the resurrection of the dead. We think of a future event. But it's verse 25 that is very perplexing. It's something to think about. Verse 25 of John chapter 5. Jesus says, Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. The hour is coming and is now 
hear. When the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. We have spoken about the two lives. We have spoken about the two deaths. Jesus today in that one passage speaks of two resurrections. The resurrection of the dead, the future of it, but a resurrection that occurs now, that it could occur at this moment, a resurrection of the dead, that it occurs within each one of us who are alive. How is that possible, you ask? It's a spiritual resurrection. When you and I, through our own choices, kill our relationship with God the Father through mortal sin, we break one of his commandments, we are dead spiritually, which is far worse than being dead physically. But the words of Jesus can, can inspire us and give us the courage to go and seek reconciliation back with the Father for we as Catholics believe in the sacrament of confession or reconciliation or penance, all three words apply. And we can go, we can confess our sins, be forgiven, do our penance, and know at that moment, although our physical bodies are still alive, now our spiritual, our spiritual life has been resurrected from the dead. We are alive with God. And the things that we do, the good that we do now, now, sustained by sanctifying grace, means so much more. It's a new way that I have encountered to think about life and death and the spiritual life and death. So I offer that for you to reflect upon today. Go back, reread John chapter 5, verse 25. Think about the resurrection, the dead that occurs right now, your spiritual life. And if you, if I need to be resurrected through confession, let us ask God, let us ask the angels and saints Give us the strength and the courage to inspire us to take that step to go, to be reconciled, to be resurrected, to be spiritually alive again. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country during this time of uncertainty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our church this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for the holy souls in purgatory as they continue to be purged of any type of selfishness and sinfulness. This Mass will be offered for them. We pray for them as they pray for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of His name, for all the good and good of all the the church. Receive, O Lord, in your kindness the sacrificial offerings we make for your departed servants and for all who sleep in Christ that set free from the bonds of death by this singular sacrifice, they may merit eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread on it, giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we drink this cup. We Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. But I'm the same word in my soul to you. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations, for his merciful love towards us is great. Let us pray. As we participate in the divine mysteries, we pray, Almighty God, that they may advance our salvation and bring pardon to the souls of your servants, for whom we implore your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael, Lord, 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 defend us in heaven. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of hell. 
May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And if you, your friends of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan, all the other evil spirits, who are the true world, seeking from your souls. Amen. The divine grace and protection against arms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed, Blessed be his holy name. name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, who died in your name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the most sacred heart. Blessed be the most sacred Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the all. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and the soul. Blessed be the great mother of God, very most holy. Blessed be our holy man of conception. Blessed be our holy assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the virgin mother. Blessed be the name of the most sacred house. Blessed be God in your hands and in your hands.